Hey guys, we're here in X Studios to show you how we made the Reset EP that is out now on Protocol Recordings. First, let's start with No More, the first track of the EP. Okay, this is an interesting story because even if it, the track is the first of the EP, it came out later than the other two. So I was trying to do something tech inspired and I tried some kicks and I tried some melody and then it came out like in two days with no further ado. Okay, let's dive into the project. Okay, first I was trying to do some piano stuff and I used this M1 piano here. This is called Velo Piano and it was, was is one of my favorite because it has the very house feelings that I was looking for. And I wrote this melody. Then I resampled it with Ableton and the piano goes on like this. Okay, you have to know that uh, in this piano there are a lot of effects that, I, that I've used here and I want to show you one by one because it's a tricky one. The first is the C6 stereo from Waves. It's basically a compressor, a compressor of, of the piano with, with the high frequencies enhanced a little bit. Then I use the Dirt that is a distortion plugin that I used the most for the leads and I thought it would be cool to add some distortion on the piano to give it the vintage effect. Then I used a chain with a reverb and delay. In this case I used the Ableton delay that is easy to use and I was looking for a, a short delay. Then I used the Valhalla room for the reverb at 100% mix then I just chained it up here so I can control separately the reverb. As you can see, I have the reverb and the delay that are separated from the main audio file. That is, here it is. Then I also added a Fab Filter Pro Q3 for all the resonances that I hate when I play the piano because in most of the high parts, you have to cut everything out and you can see how much I cut it. Then I used an OTT compression, this multiband compression that I love. Uh, I don't know exactly what it does in this case, but it, it felt like uh, the piano was super punchy. As you can see, is as you can hear, is uh, a little bit sparkling in the high in the highest part. Then another fab filter just to cut down other frequencies that are gaining because of the compression. Then for the final touches I used the PSP Vintage Warmer that is really cool. It's a, compre a vintage compressor that added the, the vintage touch to the, to the piano. Then the kickstart and the effect tricks just to have a little bit of a effect on it. If you, if, as you can hear Without the Effectrix, the piano sounds like this. With the Effectrix, the piano sounds like this. There is a bit of movement that I that I love to put on the records because uh, here we have a little reverse and it's like a, a standalone plugin where you can put the reverse and it gain the, si the signal directly out from the the audio files instead of you using another audio file just to cut the reverse and do all the stuff within automation it's very easy to use this then a kickstart for the sidechain and that's it i think i've i've added like yeah another cutting frequencies because it's never too much and of course every time you add some plugin you add some compression you add some uh, fx uh, the frequencies are going up and you have to cut down again. As you know, there's a ping pong here between the piano and another scene that is this one. I used the preset on Serum here that is called Rave Lead Se from Seven Sky uh, Pack. Then I processed a lot with reverb and delays and it's kind of uh, Tech House Fisher vibes and it added a lot of uh, pumping into the track, as you can hear. 
At first, I've used all the piano I played, but I realized I had, I had the meeting with protocol guys, and I realized we realized that it was like kind of annoying. So I, I was I was trying with some sounds that could replace the piano in the second part, and I came out with this one. One of the most important thing is the bass line. Because with the bass line, you can create your own sound, you can create your own movement to the track. And I do this by using the pitch band that you can see over there, it has a lot of movement. And I do this because otherwise the track will be really flat. With the pitch band on the sub bass, you can hear, and even on the mid bass. So all, all around it sounds like this. You can give an extra groove that you will uh, miss otherwise just doing some arrangement tricks like uh, drums or percussion. Also, you have to add the bass line that is sounding good. Otherwise, you will lose everything, every, every power trick you, you made for the track. With your bass line, you need a very good kick because, as you may know, kick and bass lines are the most important thing to make the track sounds good. Without them, you can do anything and everything, but it will not sound so good. For the kick, this time I've used a Tech House kick, as I've mentioned before. As you can see there's a lot of processing here, but we will go through it another day. Then with the kick, I've added a little percussion that I've used almost every time in my tracks, there is a metallic percussion that gives just the extra spark to the to the top kick. And this is it's from Kashmir Park, I think. So you can hear how the kick stands alone. And you can hear the kick with the percussion. It's kind of giving the, that extra groove that I was looking for. And then, just to, for you to know, the drums are a little bit complicated to describe because there's a lot of, of, there are a lot of things going on. There are the claps, the hats. I even did a layering on the claps that is really interesting because there are four claps. You can see here, there is a top clap, a top percussion, just to make it sound good. Then the body of the clap. So the lesson that I want to give you is not be satisfied only of one sample. If it doesn't sound good enough, it means you have to add something that, as you can see, I've, I've done here. There's a lot of extra layering, so be careful when you use only one sample, make sure that this sample is good enough. Otherwise, do some layering, there's no limits, there's no boundaries in music. Just try what you like and you'll go straight to the result. And that's it for today, guys. If you have some questions, some answer for me, some everything, just drop it in the comment over there and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We need you a lot because we are new on YouTube, so we really need our community to help us growing up. And see you next week as we're gonna go through the making of So Good. Ciao!